watching the, the people finish that marathon that weren't the elite runners. You know, the, the Joe Schmo from wherever that just goes out there and, you know, puts one foot in front of the other for the 26.2. To, to watch them be overcome by the emotion and the, and the, the people cheering them on for the entire route was always impressive to me and it was always something I thought maybe I'd want to do. I was actually in Disney with my family when the bombings happened. We were in the pool um, at the hotel when some guy from Jersey comes up and goes, oh, you're from Boston, right? I go, yeah, he goes, oh, they just bombed the marathon. So with everything going on with that, that kind of made me, made me start thinking about running it. And, you know, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. Um, but I didn't really get the push to do it until last year when Ella O'Donnell got sick. James Hawkins, sergeant with the PV Police Department. My two daughters went to school with her. They danced with her. Um, her father's never a police officer. So I, I just sat there thinking this could be one of my, my children. Couldn't stop thinking that this has got to be more than I can do. Within a week, I was online trying to figure out how I could join the marathon team. It took some time, and finally I found out from, uh, from the organization that I, I got a number. And that's when I was able to start my fundraising and really start training. Um, the idea of helping people is something that's always kind of, kind of been close to me. So $25, $30 here. A couple people did a couple hundred dollars here and there. But I, I was at $1,000, $2,000 really quick. And then all of a sudden, it just slowed down. I had people that I've never met just reach out on Facebook. I have a, a sixth grade, uh, I believe it was an English teacher in sixth grade. You know, I made a donation in your name. Thank you very much. You know, I don't think I've seen her since I got out of the Higgins Middle School. I had somebody I arrested reach out to me. Hey, you know, you arrested me five or six years ago for drunk driving, this and that. You know, turn turn my life around. I stopped drinking, but I, I want to I want to give back. And I'm like, okay, absolutely. It's it's phenomenal. It, it, it makes you realize that you know. People do still have a heart, as, as cruel as this world can be sometimes, that people can pull together and, and support a good cause. I mean, people have busy lives. For them to take a Friday night out to come support me and, and my crazy endeavor to run a marathon, that, that was pretty pretty impressive to me. You know, and it's, it, it speaks volumes to, to the, the community that we have here in Peabody. I'd just like to thank everybody for their support. 